Bug Hunter badge, a badge that many people wanted to get, but unfortunately the steps to make that happen were not clear enough. I made a previously a video, but that video did not actually explain how to get it, but I just explained things about the badge. So today in this video, you're going to learn what is the Bug Hunter badge and what the perks are, the versions of how to get the badge. So first thing first, let's start with what is the Bug Hunter badge. So the Bug Hunter badge is actually a badge that Discord gives to the people who actually test Discord and find bugs and problems and then report them to Discord. So Discord as a reward or a gift to these people who actually help them in developing Discord, they would give them the badge. The badge actually has two versions, a green one and a yellow one, like a golden one. So to get the green one, you will need to actually report 10 high impact bugs to Discord and they would give you that badge. But to get the golden one, you will have to report one critical bug that is really dangerous. For example, accounts may get hacked from it, just a bug that is going to cost Discord money like free nitros or something like that. And once you do that, they will give you the badge, one of the two. About the badge perks, you will actually join the Discord support team, you will get the badge on your account which is so awesome. You will actually be able to contact Discord. You will get updates before they are released to the beta version, I guess. I'm not sure about this one. But anyway, there are many perks that you're going to get. And they actually may pay you also besides this badge if the critical bug that you found is really dangerous. Now, actually, if we talk about how to get this badge, it is so simple. You just need to come to this website, discord.com slash security. And as you can see, it will appear bug bounty discord and blah, blah, blah. You can click on learn more if you want to learn more, literally. So as you can see at Discord, we take privacy and security very seriously yeah as such we encourage everyone to participate in our open bug bounty program which incentivizes researchers and hackers alike to responsibly find this clause and help us resolve security vulnerability anyway so literally they're just saying that this program is open for everybody to help discord find problems and then resolve them as with many bug bounties out there discord has a fairly straightforward and simple set of rules that help protect both of us so as you can see they say how we approach security issues. Discord are not going to take legal actions against users for disclosing vulnerabilities as instructed here. So if you find for example a bug and then you use it for your own interest, Discord may actually take legal action because that's illegal. But if you report it here in this website, they will do nothing. So vulnerability report will always be responded as fast as possible, usually within 24 hours. Well, I wish this speed was actually in the other support team because many people are losing the accounts and Discord take years to answer. Based on the validity severity and scope of each issue we reward you with awesome stuff stuff as they say or just cold hard cash if you prefer so this is the thing that we need to understand because if you find a good bug they will give you a discord badge and they can give you money hard cash so as i told you guys you will need actually to have the better version of discord so you can check the new updates before they release to the stable version so to do that or to download this version you're gonna come to discord.com slash download and then you scroll down until you find this filling experimental thing and then you click on download public test build you choose which version are you using or which operating system you're using mac linux blah 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 um in my case i'm using windows 64 bits so i'm gonna click on that and you will have to install it it will literally just look like the basic discord but you will get updated before the normal version okay and as you can see each operating system has its own links right so you'll find this article down in the description for the ios system you will need to download the test flight app from play store so you just click on this link as you can see you will have to download this and after you download it you're just gonna head to this website and you will scroll down i guess something like that and you will just follow these steps i don't have an iphone sadly or an ios device so sadly i can't use this but anyway you're just gonna follow these steps and you will join it and for the android devices you can actually get the beta version or the alpha right so for the beta you will need to follow the steps in the google play store you open google play store you search for discord and then you open it then scroll down you will find and a button or an option called join the beta click on it and follow instructions and for the alpha version you will find this website on the article right so you'll find this link as you can see android alpha link here so you click on it it will take you right here you'll have to log in and then you will click on join let me just log in okay so after you log in you will find this button join group as as in my case it is in french rejoindre le groupe so you click on it and then you will have to just select something here anyway just click join group and it will take you to the group and you will have and you will receive some message right here so as you can see this is the message anyway after you do this 
you come back here you choose this option and you will have to download discord over again right so you click on become a tester of course do these steps in your android device i'm using it on windows just to explain the steps anyway after you do this you will go to play store right and click on this option it will take you to app store and then you will click install and choose some devices you know your device in android and it will download the testing program or the alpha version and if you want to leave it just come back to that website and click on leave group and yeah now the question that you may ask or everyone are going to ask are every bug found in discord accepted like for example if i find a problem in the discord's design maybe a button is not working maybe the design has some some place that is not well designed well the answer is no these bugs are not accepted these are not even considered as a bug it's just a, a problem that's found in discord so as you can see there are rules that you need to follow you can read them but this is not what i'm gonna talk about it is the out of scope villain so as you can see we're reporting vulnerabilities please consider one attack scenario exploit blah, blah 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 anyway so this is the list that shows you which bugs are ac are not accepted because out of scope so as you can see account email enumeration the bugs that have relation with email enumeration and the brute force attacks click jacking whatever spoofing uh yeah you know just read this all and you will understand which bugs are accepted and which are not actually so yeah this is it now if you find some rare species of bugs you can just click on submit a vulnerability and as you can see this window is going to open and i'm gonna explain now how to report it as you can see the first thing is assets select the attack surface of this issue and you select which website of discord or which that has this bug so for example you just can choose which asset is it executable uh, just an app for example discord and so about the old system that discord had to get a bug hunter badge so at first you had to join a discord server which was called discord testers and then you download the beta version of discord and then you do these steps which I'm gonna explain in this screenshot. It's actually in French, but don't worry, I'm gonna translate everything. So the first thing you get when you join, once you join the Discord tester servers is as a rule at everyone, which all servers has it. And it gives you a limited access to the server, like only some channels, not all the channels. And then the second role in the server is a bug hunter. And to get it, you will have to actually finish a bug hunter quiz. It is so simple, it is available for everyone. And what you will open is a channel for uh, announcements and then some channels for bug hunting and stuff like that. And you will be able to submit some bugs, okay? And then the third role you're going to get is a bug quest right so the box question rule is going to to add you to the queue so you can check whether your bug has been accepted or no and then you will be able to chat with other box questions like the people who have the same role as you and to get it you had to actually have some x bugs approved i'm not sure what's the number maybe three four and then you will have to be an old member of the bug hunting team like the role i just explained the tier two and then the tier four is a bug tracker and here is when you get the bug hunter badge it is the badge that everyone one wants to get and you will also be able to see the discord updates before their release and stuff so to get this role you will have to actually be an old member of the bug squasher and then the last level is the fifth level which is a bug terminator and and actually you're going to get the golden bug hunter badge and you will be able to actually join the moderators of discord i guess i'm not sure about this one and yeah this was the system it was really clear i mean i wish the system becomes again but sadly i'm not thinking about that so i explained in this video how you can get that i explained the badge the old system what you need to have and what you need to know i hope everyone gets it i mean not everyone is going to get it obviously but i hope people can get it and i hope this video has been helpful for everybody and i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching i will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe by the way Bye.